What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So there is a lot of exciting stuff coming to the JP version of the game within the next couple of days. But for me personally, I know the thing that I'm most hyped about are definitely the new Int LR Super Saiyan Vegeta as well as the Dokkan Fest for the AGL Meta Cooler. And now that we have all the information we need for both of these units, Let's talk about it in today's video. So first things first, we're gonna start off with the Int LR Super Saiyan Vegeta. Now, I know a lot of you are probably like me and can't read Japanese. This is what they posted on the JP Twitter page for Dokkan. Um, it looks really cool, it looks awesome, but I have no idea what it says. But thankfully, we have Reddit user Trust Harry to the rescue with those clutch translations. So thank you to Trust Harry. I'm gonna read it off for you guys exactly as he translated it. And I'm pretty sure it's like 99% accurate. And then after we talk about that, we'll do a little discussion about how good he is, how bad he is, whatever. So first things first, Extreme Int LR Super Saiyan Vegeta. His passive is attack plus 15,000 and defense plus 20,000 right off the bat. Um, <laughs> I was really rooting for a percentage buff, honestly. I, I was really hoping for like 70%, 80% attack and defense, something like that. They kept the flat boost. I mean, he is a prime battle LR, similar to the tech LR Goku and STR LR Frieza. So it does follow the trend of these LRs having flat boosts. But, you know, times change, right? Like units change, there's different things that they do. So I was hoping that they would make this change and give, start giving them percentage buffs like the LR Vegito Blue, but unfortunately that didn't happen, so he is stuck with this flat boost. It's a decent boost, but percentage would have been a lot better. Let's just be real. Percentage would have been way better. Anyways, so attack plus 15,000 and defense plus 20,000. For four turns after being attacked, additional attack plus 15,000 and perform two additional attacks guaranteed. So from my understanding, it's gonna be 15,000 attack and 20,000 defense right off the bat, just starting out. And then after he gets attacked, for the next four turns, he will get an additional 15,000 for 30,000 total attack. And he will be able to perform two additional attacks guaranteed. Now, I don't know if these attacks can turn into super attacks or there's gonna be guaranteed regular attacks like the brand new, well, on global at least, the new Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. JP players, of course, have had him for a while, but I don't know if it's gonna be like guaranteed just regular attacks or can these additional attacks become super attacks? I don't know, like I haven't really seen anything about that yet, so you know, don't take my word for that, but that's how it goes. After he gets attacked for four turns, we'll have 30,000 attack total, 20,000 defense, and ability to perform two additional attacks. Now his leader skill is gonna be pure Saiyan's key plus three, attack, HP attack and defense plus 70%. So decent category leader for pure Saiyans if you don't have Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. 12 key super attack, colossal damage to the enemy, and 18 key super attack is greatly raises attack for one turn, which is gonna be a 50% attack increase and deals mega colossal damage. And his links are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Shattering the Limit, No Fierce Battle, couldn't, I mean, <laughs> No surprise there, honestly, I didn't expect him to get Fierce Battle. Legendary Power, Royal Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, and Prodigies, and his only category category is Pure Saiyan. So, again, thank you to Trust Harry for those translations. This is the LR Super Saiyan Vegeta. Now, here's the thing, guys. Um, it's not as bad as it actually seems on paper. So, there was another Reddit user. I don't know the exact name of this user. I'm sorry, I, have, I didn't remember it, but they did a quick little... Um, calculation for this brand new LR Super Saiyan Vegeta and they calculated that at 18 key he can easily break 2 million attack stat up to 2.6 million or something like that attack stat on his 18 key plus super so this guy is still going to be doing a ridiculous amount of damage or a very good amount of damage at the very least he's going to be hitting way harder than any of the other prime battle LR in the past, LR Frieza, LR Goku, way out damaging them, no problem. Overall, he's still gonna be a very good unit. He's not on the same level as like LR Vegito Blue. LR Vegito Blue honestly is better than some summonable LR, so I wasn't expecting that, but he is still gonna be very good. He's still gonna be very strong. He's gonna be an amazing sub for pure Saiyans if you're missing some of those optimal units. So I can't say I'm disappointed. I think he's still gonna be a very good unit. Maybe, you know, a little bit. A, a, a little bit below my expectations as far as like, uh, you know, I was hoping for that percentage buff. I was hoping he would be a little bit more in line with LR Vegito Blue, but uh, he's going to be a little bit below that, but not, not too far off. So overall, guys, I think LR, you know, Super Saiyan Vegeta, 
fantastic unit still, really, really strong, especially because it's going to be free to play. You just have to grind it. You just have to put in the work and grind your, your, <laughs> grind your ass off, and uh, you will have a fantastic unit, a completely free rainbow unit on your hands. So I can't complain. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, but overall, I'm okay with it. I'm really okay with him. And if you guys haven't seen his super attacks yet, oh my god, they look amazing. Fantastic looking super attacks. So go check those out as well. I'm sure DBZ World or uh, Clash Clash X or some of those other guys that posts those uh, little clips of the super attack animations, you can find them on their channel. So go check those out. But let's move on now to the uh, LR, no, not LR, the uh, AGL Meta Cooler. That's gonna be the next Dokkan Fest on JP. First of all, he looks really cool. <laughs> first of all, like he looks really cool. That's the first impression I got. Like that's a cool looking card right there. I don't know if my head is like blocking it. Maybe I'll move it a little bit out of the way. I don't really know, but like hopefully you guys can see the card art. It looks really cool. I mean, they're they're doing a great job with these new card arts, so I have no complaints there. Now let's take a quick look at what his actual um, skills and things like that are. And of course, I can't read this either because it's also in Japanese, but. Thankfully, Trust Harry also commented on that post on Reddit and gave his quick translations as well. So here we go, guys. Extreme AGL Metal Cooler, next Dokkan Fest on JP. His passive is going to be attack and defense plus 80%. So that's just his, you know, starting off, like that's his base passive. Attack plus 10% for every attack received, uh, up to a maximum of 70% and recovers 7% HP at the end of turn. Like Tapion, he will undergo a transformation when his HP is 50% or lower, but it doesn't seem to be a permanent trans transformation like uh, LR Gogeta, LR Vegito, something like that. It's gonna be more of like a great ape transformation. So he's gonna be in that transform state for like two to three turns and then transform back to his regular meta cooler state. His leader skill is strongest clan in space, also known as the Frieza clan. Frieza clan category, key plus three. HP, attack, and defense plus 70%, and he also gives extreme AGL types key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 90%. So amazing leader skill. Looks like they're going to start going with the 170% um, to all three stats for leaders from moving forward. Um, I mean, the first one we saw was the LR Goku and Frieza with 177% for all three stats, but before it was like 130% to one of the stats and 170% to the other two or the other way around or whatever. But now it looks like 170% to all three might be the standard moving forward, which is okay. I mean, that's just how game progresses, right? Like bigger percentages, um, more OP buffs, more OP leader skills, things like that. And uh, he also gives extreme AGLs, key plus three, HP attack defense plus 90%, which is gonna be really good if you're missing some of those Frieza clan or uh, strongest clan in space category units. You can throw some of those extreme AGL units on there, and I'm sure they'll be great as well because you still get a 90% buff plus three key. And his super attack is immense damage and lowers attack and defense. So uh, there's one Reddit user, SSJ Ancient Being, also says after seven attacks with the way that the stat is calculated, it's not just going to be added on to his base 80%, they're calculated separately, right? So in total, he should have a 206% attack boost. For reference, um, SDR Super Saiyan for Goku, who still hits very hard, even though he's an older unit, he still hits really hard, gets 150%. So this guy should get up to a 206% attack boost. So he will most likely be hitting harder than SSJ for Goku, easily hitting for 2 mil, 3 mil, we don't really know, haven't really tested it out yet, but especially with that 170% leader skill, I think he'll be hitting extremely hard, so don't worry about damage there. And as far as the category goes, it's gonna be Frieza Clan, right? So. I haven't looked too, you know, too hard into it too deeply, but there's going to be a lot of uh, coolers, a lot of freezes. An example could be AGL Meta Cooler, LR Meta Cooler on JP, of course, Physical Cooler, Angel Golden Frieza, Transforming Frieza, SDR Final Form Frieza. That's just an example of a possible category team. Of course, you can, you know, change the makeup or however you want. It's going to be a very strong category. You can, you can trust me on that. There's a lot of great. The uh, cooler and Frieza cards in this game, so gonna be a really strong category. That's all I gotta say. So overall, cooler is gonna be great. Cooler is gonna be amazing. Uh, he's gonna do tons of damage. His category is gonna be OP. Well, not OP in the sense like I I'm, I don't know if it's still gonna, it's gonna be on the same level as like Patara. I don't know if it's gonna like overtake Patara or anything like that, but it's still gonna be really strong. Uh, Super Saiyan 3, of course, is also another super strong category. I don't know if this one's going to be stronger than that one. It remains to be seen, has to be tested out, of course. These are two, like I said, two very exciting, very, very hype cards coming to JP. 
first this month and of course at some point eventually to global but global players will have to wait for a while up to six months possibly but they could switch things up a little bit sometimes on global you know the the schedule doesn't necessarily follow JP's schedule in terms of releases, so maybe we'll see this guy earlier, maybe we'll see him later, who knows, maybe we'll see the Vegeta during Christmas, maybe we'll see him during Christmas, I don't really know guys, I don't have the insider information like that, some people like to ask me like, oh when is this coming out, when is that coming out, I don't really know, I, I know when most of the leakers know, when you know a lot of the other YouTubers know, so I will keep my eye out, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll have my radar open for any new information coming out, but for the time being, I don't know when it's coming to global, but JP will get it very soon. Like I said, within the next couple of days, possibly a week, something like that. Haven't looked too too hard at the release dates either, but it's coming this month. That's all I... Well, it's not even November yet, is it? <laughs> it's coming in November. It's coming in November, so possibly within the couple, next couple of days or so. But uh, that's it, guys. That's all the information I have. I know I rambled a little bit, but... Let me know in the comments what you guys think of both of these units. I think they're both very strong, especially that cooler. And uh, the Super Vegeta is still nice. He's still, still really, really nice. So I can't complain about that. And that's all the information we have for you guys today. Of course, like, like I do, usually do, if there's any information that comes out in the future, I will make sure to keep you guys posted and make sure that you're one of the first to know about any news coming out. Ah, okay, enough talking. That's all. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also, while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all I have to say. That's all from me today. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>